talking about contraception, I don't want to take pills or anything that will disturb the hormones. We came across the option of spermicide vaginal suppositories, but the internet says that suppositories have side effects, but we are unaware about the intensity of these side effects. Can you help? If I'm talking about intensity of side effects of using spermicide over a period of time, uh, to be honest, there is no long-term side effects that a spermicide can cause within your vagina. You will know it if it is irritating you and if you're sensitive to it, if you have an allergic reaction in the beginning. Sometimes using any product for a very long period of time can cause irritation or allergy in the due course. Other than that, the spermicide actually does not affect your fertility or does not go in through your cervix and cause damage to your uterus or your ovaries or anything like that to be honest. Are there any other non-hormonal contraception options? If you want a non-hormonal contraception, there are other non-hormonal contraception, like for example, the copper tea is a fantastic contraception and it has copper but not hormones and it sits in your uterus for about 10 years and is 98% efficient. Copper IUDs are also something that you can use as emergency contraceptives. So you can insert them after you've actually had sex within a certain period of time. So if you want non-hormonal contraception, probably your condoms, uh, your internal condoms, external condoms, they are probably are a better contraceptive method to use if you want a non-hormonal choice, or you can go with the copper IUD. I hope I've answered the question. Please let me know if I can answer anything else. I hope that helps.